Families page. My name's Jo, I'm the Youth, Children and Family Development Worker for the Avon Valley Churches. This feature is called Celebrate Our Town and as you can see today, I am in the beautiful, where are we Selena? In the New Forest at Rockford Bottom. Rockford Bottom. I'm joined today by the wonderful Selena, who I met in Fording Bridge. She's going to tell you all about what she does. Um, but first, would you like to introduce yourself, Selena? Hi, hello, I'm Selena. I'm, I live in Fording Bridge. I uh, do the fundraising for Point and Rescue Services. As you can see, my two pointers running around in the background <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do the fundraising, we help with fostering. Um, luckily, you know, Joe has come in and help with the fostering as well. She's done a brilliant job, especially through lockdown. Twice. <laughs> Twice, yeah. And we, we don't mind how old you are, where you live, as long as you can give the dogs a loving, wonderful home and have somewhere for them to walk. Uh, if you're interested, please look at our website. We do um, a lot of shows, we do a lot of walks, we do a lot of walks on the beach when we're allowed to, when we get out of lockdown. Okay. And that's, that's who we are. That sounds amazing. So I was going to say, actually, I mean, I've got, it's really lovely because we're surrounded by dogs today um, at Rockford Bottom, which is wonderful. Um, so uh, I met Selena at the Fording Bridge Christmas Festival and we were so disappointed this year to not both be yeah. there because yeah. we both had a table in the same room and that was how I got talking to yeah, Selena about the points of rescue. This was last Christmas, so this time last year. Since then we fostered two dogs with the Point of Rescue service. I have to say one of the biggest privileges of being involved with Point of Rescue is that I've got this whole new huge family of humans and dogs that go along with them. So we get to go out today like we have today on a dog walk. Um, and um, so Selena, how long have you been involved with Point of Rescue? Uh, it's coming up two years now we've been involved. Okay and um, so if because lots of people would like to foster a dog and they say, oh, I don't know if I'd be able to let them go or whatever. Um, is there anything you have to say about that? I would say only foster for as long as you want to. So if you only want to do a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks is helpful to us. Don't worry about you can only do so much or so little. Whatever you can give, whatever time you can give for the dogs is wonderful. Um, you could be as involved with their rehoming as you want to be. If you want to meet the new owners, keep an eye on where they're going, how they're getting on. That is all fine with us. We can keep you in touch. So okay. please only do the amount you can do <coughs> that you're up to doing. And one of the other things that people say, because they worry about rehoming a dog, and one of the things they say is, um, oh, am I too old to home a dog? What would you say to that? No one's too old to home a dog. We do ask if you're over 60 that you go for an older dog. But you're never too old to own a dog as long as you've got someone in place. If you can't walk the dog, someone else can walk the dog for you. You can have a dog walker. The dog is company for you as well as you being company for the dog. Okay, and another question I have, Selena, because I know this is, um, thing, this is another thing that people ask. Um, if I have a, so if I need to go on holiday or something, um, what happens to my dog if I haven't got somebody to look after them? Your dog will either come to myself, uh, the secretary, the chairman, or another foster person that we have locally. Yeah. They're not put in kennels. So, so that's one of the, the biggest plus points for me as a fosterer, is actually to be able to not only keep in touch with the dogs that we fostered, but also still see lots of the other dogs and be available for those dog owners who may need some extra support, particularly in our local area. Um, the other thing is, is a lot of um, dog rescue organisations will, um, if you haven't got a garden, you're not able to adopt a dog. Um, but how does Point to Rescue feel about that? We're happy. I mean, I don't have a garden, a personal garden. We have a communal garden where I live and we've got the two dogs and we've got both dogs off of Point to Rescue. Uh, we're not worried if you have no garden. You are, as long as you have somewhere you can walk the dog. That's all we ask. Okay, so there's no, so the dogs, the, the biggest plus points for me of Point to Rescue is the dogs do not go into kennels. 
um, either before they're home to you, or so so they go and come into a foster, don't they? They're always into a home. In, into a foster before they come to you. When they come to you, if you would like to. Um, if you need to go on holiday or if you need a bit of extra support, the whole organisation is there. When we had our first foster, bless him, he'd never been off the lead. So I was on the phone to Selena every day for about two weeks saying, I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, but actually we got through it in the end and we had him for the whole of lockdown one. So, um, and yes, it's very hard to actually um, say goodbye to him. Uh, beautiful Bentley. Um, but yes, we've had the privilege of having another foster more recently and um, yeah we've loved every minute of it so I definitely encourage people to foster but if you do want to adopt a dog there are loads of dogs um, coming through Point of Rescue as well as other organisations. Um, is there anything else you wanted to add there Selena? No just on the website all the details are on the website or our Facebook page and there's the ways to get hold of us that way. And um, you also do you have fundraising on Facebook? Uh, fundraisers on Facebook and we've got our shop on the website and on Facebook. Okay, so if you want to get in touch you can either message us or message the Point to Rescue service. Um, we'll put details in, I'll try and tag yes. the Point to Rescue in, in the post. Um, thank you for joining us today and um, hope you have a lovely week and look forward to seeing you next week when we're out of lockdown again. Hopefully. Hopefully. Take care. <laughs> thank you. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.